Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. Hey, this is really good! Rose. Yes? My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah, uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? coming for you, hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do, about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? 
coffee. I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's special? Thank you. My I'm gun and sure. flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I ain't the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Something like that, Walt. Yeah. Well, you know, he's, uh, you know, Daddy's my best friend, and, uh, they let me on bail today. And now I'm just alone here at the window, you know, waiting. Man, and there's something in the air tonight, man. Uh, I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I, I don't know. I, you know, something's gonna happen. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I better go. Well, uh, maybe... No, that, thanks, Pat. Uh, well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? How can I be sure? You're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slane. Here, you goddamn maniac! I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wake! Come on! Make it easy!
This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. 
The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. There was no power to the searchlight. The old generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Do I do command silence? 
hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Judas Priest. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. I had fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there.
force that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. As a teenager, just started to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. <laughs> 